The ice at U.S. Bank Arena is ready and waiting for hockey, but getting there is quite the process. That responsibility falls on the shoulders of this man, Director of Facility Operations, Drew Curtis. He oversees a staff that spends nearly three full days getting the frozen floor ready for gameplay. And not surprisingly, he tells us that it all begins from the ground up. Well, what we have going on right here is uh, the first step of the whole ice making process. You can see the guys behind me with the wand. They're running passes uh, just to get a, a thin layer of water down. And we're basically doing this to burn the frost off and kind of create a bed before we put our white powder down. This should be the last run of this. And after they finish up, we're going to start uh, mixing up our white powder. The white base you see on the ice is mixed thoroughly in these large 100-gallon drums. It's then pumped through a long hose and sprayed evenly onto the chili concrete. Then comes the paint. Dozens of buckets must be mixed precisely before any brush can meet the ice. All right, basically what we're doing right now, we've got uh, the paint comes in a little thicker, a uh, little thicker than what you see here. You can see how it's not as, not as watery, a little thicker. Um, what we do is take about a half a bucket of this, and then we're going to start adding about uh, another quarter of a bucket of water just to get us the right consistency. And then, uh, like I say, you just keep mixing until you get a watery, you know, more of a watery substance like this, and you're basically ready to rock. With the paint all set, the rink markings and logos must be laid out, measured, and drawn. This part of the project must be done with exceptional care. The goal crease starts with a simple stencil outline, and then comes the paint. First, the inside of the crease is filled in stroke by stroke. Then the outlines are painted in by hand, leaving the finished product that you see at U.S. Bank Arena every time you visit on game night. Stevie. The next step is to lay out the blue lines, and like everything else, precision is key. All right, uh, basically what we're doing here, you can see how we have the width of the blue line here. All we're doing is taking yarn and running it from one end to the other, getting the yarn perfectly, uh, you know, we're getting it tight, which gets it perfectly straight, and that's going to give us the, you know, the correct dimension, and then we'll come back in afterwards and just paint in between the yarn, and that'll give us our perfect width of blue line all the way across. We'll do that same thing with the red line, the other blue line, and then the gold line on the opposite end. After this process is finished, Drew prepares the under ice logos for painting. Each logo you see on the ice starts as a printed image, which is then blown up into perforated stencils. They're measured and laid precisely onto the ice. Once in place, blue chalk is powdered on top of the stencils, leaving a perfect blueprint for the painters to follow. Then, like all the other markings on the ice, these are painted in by hand, leaving behind a crisp, perfect drawing. While this process is a long one, Drew Curtis and his staff take great pride in the job that they do. I mean, absolutely. The guys take a lot, you know, a lot of pride in this. We're one of the few rinks that uh, actually hand paint all of our logos. Um, a lot of the rinks have the lay-in logos, which uh, would cut about eight hours out of our process. Uh, we wouldn't be out here hand painting. We would just be laying them down, uh, getting them centered and level, and then uh, just spraying them in into their position. Like I said, that would be the biggest time saver for us. But uh, like I said, I mean, I think the guys do take a lot of pride in it. Like I said, I mean, we're actually putting man hours in on this and everybody's been out here on their hands and knees painting. And, uh, you know, so it's just, uh, they take pride in it. So that helps throughout the year. It helps keep us, helps keep this ice good because they want to take care of it because they know they did it. Come see the finished product for yourself on Friday, October 5th, when the Cyclones host the Wheeling Nailers for the preseason game at U.S. Bank Arena with a puck dropping at 730. Now, from start to finish, watch as the U.S. Bank Arena floor is transformed for Cyclones Hockey.